Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create wireframes in Power BI. So what do I mean by wireframe? So wireframe is basically mockups that we create in the initial stage of the project. So when you start a new project and you get the requirements from the client, after that, before jumping on to the development of the project, we create Power BI mockup to showcase to the client and if they agree on the mockup design that we created after getting the approvals from the client, then we start the development of the Power BI project. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create Power BI wireframes very quickly. So I will open the Chrome browser and click on mockup.ai. And from here, I can log in. So from this website, it is very easy to create mockup design for Power BI. So we are in the home tab. So we have a different templates for Power BI designs. As you can see here, they have pre-built templates for the Power BI report and they have it for different domains like marketing, sales, finance, and there are other domains like operations, customer insights, HR, logistics, and others. So you can check the pre-built templates for your particular domain and if you find some similarity in the design that you are trying to make, you can use that template. So use any template, you can click on the edit icon and use template. So you can click on this edit icon and it will be ready to uh, edit. So you can give any name and save changes and this will be ready for the edit. You can edit from here and showcase it to your client. I'm not going to edit any pre-built templates. Instead, I'm going to create a new project from scratch. So to create a new project, we can click on create new from here. You can give uh, a name of the template. Let's say sales dashboard. You can check the sizes. This is fine for Power BI. So I'll click on save changes. So our canvas is ready. Here we get some elements like headers, uh, filters, KPI, button, column, chart, bar chart, and there are different visualizations. Uh, next is a screen. So this is our screen one. You, uh, you can create multiple screens. And from the design, you can add image as a background. You can use color. You can use drop shadow strokes. So let's go to the element section. And from here, I will add a header to this report. Let's use this default header and apply style. I'll decrease the size of this header. From here on the left pane, I can edit the text. Let's say sales dashboard. So from here, you can add the company's logo. So there is an add image section as well. In the properties, I can have a background color. Let's say this blue is fine. There are certain uh, other options like navigate buttons. There are icon buttons. There are certain add-ons. Next, uh, you can go to this design customization. From here, as you can see, this is the active theme. That is, we have this color theme. From here, you can change the theme as well. So there are different uh, variety of themes which you can choose from. Let's go back and let's add a drop shadow for this header. You can change the x-axis, y, red, and blur. Next, let's add some KPIs. So I will choose this one maybe and click on apply slide. So this is our uh, KPI card. So from here we can change the title. So this is uh, total sales. Uh, you can edit the values as well. There are different values sections like uh, versus previous. If, if you want to give it a different name, you can give it as well. You can change the values as well. This is uh, the percentage change. From here uh, we can change the percentage change icon as well. Go to this design and let's add rounded corners. So I will add four as a rounded corner and enable the drop shadow. You can also choose strokes to add a stroke, but here I don't want. Next, I will duplicate this one and can duplicate. Let's add uh, three KPIs. So this one is say for sales and this one is for total profit. And this one may be for total units. Next, I want to add some slices. Uh, I will click on filter option and uh, here we have basic drop down, legend drop down, drop down with search. So let's choose this basic drop down apply style. Uh, I will place it here. Let's add a drop shadow. I will decrease the size. I will add multiple slices. 
so we have added slices and uh, for slices as well we can change the text maybe we can say products we can rename the slices whichever is suitable for your project next i'm going to show you sales over month chart so i will choose a line chart from here and let's choose a basic line chart apply style and i will put it here uh, this is fine let's change the title to sales over month and uh, obviously we can change the values from here so you can see this customized section and here is the data sec if i go to the data section you can change the data so if you want to show january 24 maybe you can show that and also we can add rows from here delete rows from here we can add columns from here delete columns from here so these are the values you can change or you can increase or decrease the values as per your let's go to customize and uh, here also add the drop shadow and rounded corners next i'm going to add a bar chart let's uh, choose a basic bar chart and let's add a bar chart for sales by country and here we, we have month name so i will go to data and here from here i can choose country names like canada particular row and we'll have this uh, sales by country next i want to show sales by market so I will, I will use a pie chart for this basic pie chart we can also change the data i'm not going to change it you can change it next let's add sales by product so i will use a tree map for this so let's use this tree map and uh, let's call it sales by product here also you can change the data by going from here and change this design customization let's add drop shadow which we have added for all the charts and uh, corner radius to four so see how easily i have created a mock-up design for the sales dashboard now i can download this wireframe and i can send it to the client for approval so to download this design you get this share option from here you can click on share and and you get three options share export and embed if you want to directly share the link or uh, to the client so you can copy the link from here and share it to the client or if you want to download so go to export and you can select the screens like current screens or all screens if you have multiple screens and you can choose the export format that is png jpeg pdf so uh, let's choose png for now and click on export so if i click on export see it has uh, successfully downloaded so if you want to create power bi wireframes quickly for your project you can make use of this website so that was all about this video see you in the next video till then goodbye and thanks for watching